I am so glad I took this trip. These lights have my heart. But I have always wondered who controls this light show from the sky? The light show that we just saw before is called an aurora. It has various other names. The northern lights or aurora borealis if you're at the north pole and the southern lights or aurora australis if you're at the south pole. But regardless of what it is called, it is beautiful and I know that all of you are very curious to know more about it, right? So let's go. The sun was born billions of years ago as a ball of gas. It consists of billions and billions of particles of hydrogen, helium and a bunch of other elements. Its outermost part, however, is one of the hottest parts of the surface. It is called the corona. Because of the high heat in the corona, the gas molecules inside lose some particles. These particles either have a positive charge or a negative charge and hence are called charged particles. Fascinating, isn't it? These charged particles have so much energy that they move away from the sun at a very high speed. Now, just like moving air particles on Earth form winds, these moving charged particles of the sun are called solar winds. These solar winds have a very high speed and if they were to hit Earth at that speed, it would cause mayhem. Just imagine a ball being thrown at you at a high speed. If it were to hit you directly in the face, it would hurt a lot, wouldn't it? But what would you do to protect yourself? You would use your hands as a shield. Well, similarly, to shield itself from these solar winds, Earth uses its magnetic field, a protective layer around the planet. When the solar winds hit this magnetic field, they are not able to enter Earth's atmosphere. However, Sometimes, a huge stream of charged particles is released from the sun. This is called a coronal mass ejection. The interesting part is that these ejections are also magnetized and thus they interact with Earth's magnetic field. Due to this interaction, Earth's magnetic field stretches like a rubber band and these particles are deflected. Once the magnetic field comes back together, some particles from the coronal mass ejection come back with it and travel along the field lines all the way to the Earth's poles. After these charged particles reach the poles, they enter Earth's atmosphere and interact with the gas particles present there. The particles in Earth's atmosphere, however, do not have a charge on them. So, when they interact with the charged particles, they get charged as well. And boom! This releases energy in the form of the colourful lights that we saw in the sky. These beautiful colours that you see are a result of this. How you ask? You see, our atmosphere is made up of many gases. If these charged particles interact with oxygen, they create green and red lights. If they interact with nitrogen, they release a blue light. By the way, do you think that other planets in the solar system also have these auroras? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below. Meanwhile, I'm going to go and check out Baiju's The Learning app to learn more about the auroras. I suggest you should too if you're interested in more fun learning experiences. <laughs>